In this video, we are covering the simple clone effect. Now, the reason why I say simple is because we are locking off the camera and we are making sure that no characters are overlapping. So there's no rotoscoping, there's nothing advanced. This is just a case of splitting the screen and creating a pretty convincing clone effect. So let's get into it. So like I said in the intro to this video, this is the simple clone effect. If you want to see the advanced clone effect, then this video should be popping up here but this is the simple version. So in order to do the simple clone effect, you just want to place your camera onto a tripod. And now you just want to point this at a location where there is no movement. So when I say there is no movement, look for moving cars, look for tree branches in the wind, look for people walking behind you. This is movement that is going to ruin the effect. So the easiest way to do this is to just aim the camera at a wall. There's gonna be no movement, just watch out for a change of light. So if it's a sunny day and the sun is reflecting off car windows and the cars are driving past and you're getting light streaks on your frame, this is probably going to ruin the effect as well. So you want to really make sure that there is no movement within the frame. Once you've got that, you are pretty safe to continue. So you place your camera on the tripod and you just want to go through and film your first clone. So you film the character and then we cut. And you want to limit the movement to a very specific part of the frame. So if we're doing three characters, we're gonna separate each section of the screen. So the first third will be character one, the middle or the second third will be character two, and the last third is going to be our third character. And you want to complete an action in each one of these slices. So we'll do the action of a character one, we'll move across, we'll do the action of a character two, we'll move across and we'll do the action of a character three. And then once you've got those, you want to leave the frame and leave the camera rolling for at least 10 seconds. This is our clean plate. This is just an empty frame. It's just the background. No one's in it. And we need this to help to clean up any imperfections. So it's really important that you get this. Now that you've got this, you can just drop this into Adobe Premiere, Adobe After Effects, whatever your editor of choice is. It's a fairly simple technique, so you don't need anything fancy. But I'm going to do this in Premiere in this example. So let's jump into Premiere. We are in Adobe Premiere Pro and we're doing the simple clone effect. Now, as you can see, I have three video clips. So I have my left clone, I have my center clone, and I have my right clone. Now, the first thing that I would do before doing anything else is I would just stack these on top of each other, pull the opacity down on the top two layers just to make sure they are lining up. This just saves us doing the necessary work if it doesn't quite line up. So video two goes on to video layer two and video three goes on to three like this. Now on the top layer, I'm going to go to opacity and drop to 40. And then on the second layer, I'm also going to drop down to 40. So you can see we've got three versions. Now clone number one, I'm going to pull up to 100% and I'm going to use a part of this wall because I interact with this. I'm going to use a part of this wall. I'm going to travel down here and then make this the transition. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. So we'll go to 75 or maybe not, we'll go to 50. We'll go to opacity, select the free draw bezier tool, and I'm just going to draw a line down here to about here. Then we'll travel down to the sofa. We'll use the leg as a transition point, and then we'll just fill in the right of the frame. Now, as you can see, if I zoom in, so let's zoom into 200%, you can see this line is getting quite close to the arm. So I'm just going to make an adjustment and just nudge this around like this. There we go, so that's avoiding this character. So now when I turn video two back up to 100%, you can see we have got this nice symbol clone effect now in play. Of course though, we are missing our first clone. So let's just turn that back down to see where the line is. So like I said, we've got some sofa blurring here. So on video layer two, we'll go to opacity and I'm just going to draw the line roughly down here. We can make amendments later on if it doesn't quite work. And then we'll just fill the right of the frame again. Then we'll turn the opacity back up to 100%. And let's see how this blends. Now we're going to have to add some feathering. And the same thing on video layer three, we need to add some feathering in. Just to make sure that feather does not touch that arm there. Perfect. And then if we just zoom in on the sofa to where this blend is, so let's go 400. We're going to activate the mask. So let's see where the line is. 
So if we're going to see a transition, it's going to be somewhere around here. So let's just turn this down. You can see there is a little bit of a difference, but you can't see the blend. There's You can't see two clips stacked on top of each other. And when I say that, I mean something like this. You can't see this overlapping. They seem to line up fairly well, even though they are a little bit different. Cool, so that does look really good. I'm just gonna do one more thing to tie this all together. And then it's just to add a nice little camera zoom. So I'm just going to highlight all of these clips, right click, we'll go nest. We can call this clone if you wanna stay organized. Press okay on that. And we're just going to zoom out. So we'll go to the very end of the clip and we'll set the scale and the position keyframes to 100. And then whatever the default setting is to so 1920, 1080. Then we'll zoom into the start and we'll go to 115 or 114. There we go. We can make our adjustments. And now when we play this back, we get this nice zoom out effect. We've got the clone effect in place. And this is our simple clone effect. What makes this the simple clone effect is there's no crossing of characters, which means we can literally just do split screens almost. And this is what ties the shots together. The thing that you just have to watch out for is a change of light, a change of movement. So if character two sat a little bit closer to his right, so sit on this cushion, it would have meant the blend point would have been really difficult to sort. And the same thing here, if this character came in and touched the sofa where the arm was, there wouldn't be a blend point and therefore we're getting into the category of rotoscoping and that makes this more advanced. So keep things really simple, pay close attention to your lighting, make sure the light is consistent, make sure the cameras are not interacting with each other and make sure the characters are not interacting with the environment to the point where it affects somebody else's section of the screen. And that's how you can do a really easy split screen effect without getting too complicated and fancy. And there you go, the clone effect is now complete. What did you think of the video? Was that, was that okay? Was it, was it good? Did you like it? If so, let me know in the comment section below. And if you've got any ideas for any future videos, whether that's a weather effect or whether it's a super zoom or a text effect, if you've seen something cool and you want me to cover it, let me know and I'll see what I can do for you. But thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you in a future video. See you there.